Hey guys, so today we're going to talk about aromatization. It's a big word, but what it means is... Okay, aromatization is when inside your body, your body turns testosterone to estrogen, which is especially, it happens both in males and females. And it's actually like a totally normal process. So yeah. today's, but well today's talk is about healthy testosterone. So one of the right. things that will really cause, you know, unhealthy um, levels of estrogen is an overactivity of aromatizing, right? Right, right. So there are different ways that you can aromatize. I mean, different ways that you can put testosterone into your body. So naturally in your body, um, you develop, uh, I mean, you make like seven, around like an average of seven milligrams a day of testosterone. Mm -hmm. But if you were to do something um, extreme, like uh, inject yourself with anabolic steroids and inject like 1,000 milligrams of testosterone into your body, um, that, that, that wouldn't necessarily fix your lack of testosterone problem, right? Yeah. Yeah, because if the body is in if if the body is in a state of over aromatizing, then you could <clears> dump <throat> all the testosterone that you want into your system, but your body is going to take that testosterone and convert it into estrogen. So of course, this actually this is a natural process that happens in both men and women. But one thing that we know about men is that as they age, they tend to aromatize more and more and right, more. Right, right. And that doesn't necessarily mean it's happening at a healthy pace, right? No, yeah, so at around 30 years old, above 30, every year you make a little, men make a little less testosterone and they make a little bit more, uh, they aromatize a little bit more. And the reason it's called aromatizing is because there is an enzyme called the aromatase enzyme. Mm -hmm. So you make a little bit more aromatase enzyme every year after 30 years old. So what are some of the things that can cause over aromatizing in men as they age? Yeah, so I mean, one way that you think about it is where you even find the aromatase enzyme, mm -hmm. right? And the places that you find it are in your brain and, and men in your testes and women in their ovaries um, and then in adipose tissue, which is in fat. Mm -hmm. So when you have more fat, then you have more uh, aromatized enzyme. Okay, so if we know that if in order to keep testosterone levels optimal as men age, what are some ways that we can minimize over aromatizing? Yeah, yeah. so I mean, this is a whole thing that I was um, I was researching all today as much as I could find, and I was trying to find natural uh, aromatizing inhibitors and. Ways that you can inhibit this aromatizing is um, decreasing fat in, in your body, right? So decreasing the excess fat in your body. Um, things like drinking grapefruit oil or any of the citrus oils will help you uh, decrease fat. Also, grapefruit essential oil is known to help your body burn fat more efficiently. There's an actual study on this. You can go over to pubmed.gov, type in grapefruit, grapefruit essential mm -hmm. oil and um, lipolysis, L-I-P-O-L-Y-S-I-S. -S. So drinking a drop of grapefruit oil in your water is a great way to help the body burn fat. And then another way to support a healthy estrogen and testosterone balance is to help the body detoxify estrogen more efficiently. So you can do that with citrus oils and you can also do that with more green cruciferous vegetables. Green cruciferous vegetables support the body in breaking up excess estrogen so that it in, turns into a water soluble source in the liver so that your liver can then dump it out of the body via the kidneys or the intestinal, or the intestinal tract. Right, so <clears throat> there are, to um, inhibit aromatization naturally, you can eat certain things like eat celery, or green cruciferous vegetables, or uh, white button mushrooms. Mm -hmm. uh, any of those three will help you um, decrease the amount of aromatase enzyme that's in your body. Right, which does increase as we age. But if you look at the studies that Evan is referencing, a lot of the the chemical, the phytochemical constituents in the plants that are doing that, that are causing, like helping the body to not have too much of that aromatase enzyme, is the polyphenols. It's the plant vitamins in there. So 
um, or the, the plant antioxidants. So of course, get in all of those foods. Like you have to make sure that you're laying the foundation for health mm -hmm. with actual foods. But one of my favorite supplements that Evan and, and I take every single day is alpha CRS by doTERRA. Right. That alpha CRS is loaded with polyphenols, which is the phytochemical, some phytochemical components that will help your body be able to better regulate the amount of aromatase enzyme that's in your system. Right, and that's all in the Lifelong Vitality Pack, uh, doTERRA's Lifelong Vitality Pack. So yesterday we talked about cinnamon and ginger. Today we talked about the benefits of using grapefruit and the Lifelong Vitality Pack. So all of these together will help you have healthy testosterone in males and just healthy hormones overall, male or female. Absolutely. All right. Thank you guys very right, much. You guys, if you have any questions about this, feel free to post in the comment section. If any of these items are something that you want to get started with, maybe buy for yourself or maybe it's a wife watching this who wants to give this to their husband, mm -hmm. send us a DM and we can help you get these items in your home. Cool. Thank you guys. That's good.